Hi everyone, I should come back here to share with you principles that are necessary for our personal life and for profit, the PPP. And this whole journey started with one single uh, old, uh, you know, adage that remind us that when we don't know where we're going, to look at where we came from in our humanity. And you will see how everything we've been talking here about business-wise, profit-wise, is linked to those principles. As promised last time, I will just uh, take the time today to share with you um, uh, the, the project, okay, the collective project by main net, you know, announcement and uh, everything that is coming, okay. So, uh, for today, you know, uh, before I forget, you know, thank you, uh, you all out there who are helping us to promote the channel. Thank you uh, for putting your comments, okay, putting your, your, your likes and uh, sharing the video. Thank you for subscribing, okay, and being with us in this journey because if you believe that what we're giving here as information is helping you, is adding value to you, yes, it will also help somebody else somewhere who don't just know or who's looking for the information. The main nets, right? So how do you get in your Pi application? How do you get your main net? And then remember, everything right now is in construction, right? Even for the main net. You may get on it when it's still showing you coming soon, coming soon, which is fine. But I think the good thing here, uh, our developers team are doing is to help us actually have um, uh, have a good idea and be prepared, right? Test things before even we get to mainnet, which is a wonderful thing, right? So the mainnet, to go to, to go to the option, you go to the menu, okay, on the left side, you click on it, okay, you go. Uh, you will see then uh, the, the menu mainnet. You click uh, on that uh, on the mainnet. Okay, you will bring you to a window which will show you a, a bar, right, with orange color, I believe so, and then the purple. Okay, the purple are the number of uh, the number of uh, pi. Okay, the test pi that you already you you mined. Okay, directly by yourself, right? The orange are still the one that are linked to. Uh, to everybody on your team, right? Everybody you put in, you know, based on trust, who will have to verify, who will have to pass, okay? The, the identification level, okay? So, at the bottom of that, you will see that you have what we call transferable balance. The transferable balance are equivalent to uh, the purple area, right? They're automatic uh, as soon as we get to main net, right? Because they're linked directly to your personal efforts, okay? In contributing, okay, to the blockchain, right? I made some note here, but let me make sure that, you know, to I lay out the process very well. First of all, you have unverified balance. Let me correct that, right? Unverified balance, right? It's still uh, people who in your, in your, in your circle, Okay, who are not still, uh, who still didn't pass the KYC level. Okay, and then comes the transferable balance, which I mentioned initially. Okay, and then you have also what uh, you have the place where you can see your wallet balance. Okay, in your wallet balance now, you will have two main things that you will see, which will refer to the next element that I will mention that you will see. Okay, so in your, uh, in your, um, uh, in your wallet balance, okay, you will see the, those balance that actually you locked up, and then other uh, the other balance are the one that you can actually use. Uh, you can you choose actually to use, okay. And this will bring us to the locked up uh, balance uh, uh, option, okay, which is uh, actually a, a nice thing that the team actually is um, is putting in place. Because remember, I and I say that in uh, another video. I heard people comparing this to uh, uh, to stacking, right? Yeah, it kind of look the same, but the purpose behind or the way will be by using the laptop voluntarily, right? It's not forced. You will have to make your decision, okay? By using it is to, uh, the objective is first of all to avoid even having people just dump everything, people who have been into this for speculation, trying to see what's the value of this, I'm going to sell this, I'm going to get out of this, right? To just not leave the process because we are in a long-term process here, 
right and the second thing you will notice that there is a, a process of uh, incentive uh, incentive okay that are given to people who will choose then to lock up for that long-term goal because everything needs to be tested until because even after main next right we need to have all the apps we need to have all the utilities ready and that will take also some time and knowing how impatient human being is in general right people may not actually stay that uh, that long okay so in under this lockdown balance you'll notice that there are two main determinant elements there the first one is your percentage of lockdown and then the duration that you would like to give to uh, the whole community to keep them your balance locked up. Those are very important. Now, the choice or the decision will depend on you. The choice and the decision will depend on your level of risk. The choice and the decision will depend on your value and the principles that you choose for yourself being in this chain. And you will have to make a decision on the percentage that you will want to see locked up. Now, what is that percentage? It's the percentage of the transferable, right? Not the uh, unverified balance that you have. So let's say that you choose to lock up 100%, right? And then tomorrow you're able to transfer, okay? Everything is verified uh, uh, by, through the KYC. You know, you get like five that comes to your wallet. At 100%, if you choose to lock up 100%, right, for let's say six days or six weeks or six months. So those five will directly go in your wallet under the category of locked up for six months, for six weeks, for six days, depending on uh, the duration that you choose. Because if you look, remember, you the simulation, you can make the simulation and see what it gives you. Now, once you do the simulation, and that's why I like the transparency through this, once you do the simulation, the formula, the, math, the mathematical formula that is used is mentioned at the bottom. So that it gives you actually the increase in your mining rate if you choose to be able to actually lock that part of or the total of your, 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 your pie collection or pie reward. Because there is always a giving and a receiving. If you choose to be able to help the community, help the ecosystem, get to that level where all the utilities are prepared and ready to be used and all that, it's normal that you be you you you, you have to be compensated for that. So those two elements are very crucial, you know, for those on who are not familiar with the process and who don't understand. Many of you will understand, which is great, right? Those two elements are very important to understand. But now the choice and the decision depend on you. If you're not somebody who's thinking long term, you just want to see how things will go or just want to test the waters. Okay, go with a low percentage. Because once you're locked up in a certain duration and, uh, uh, um, and rate or uh, percentage, right? It will be locked up for that duration. You cannot change it until the duration is finished. And now you can go change it, which is a good thing too. They're giving us the flexibility to be able to then change things. So those two elements are very important. And then when you look at the bottom, you have that uh, you have actually the place where you can actually make the configuration of then uh, of your locked up rate, okay. And one thing I love uh, in, in this process that we've been going through with uh, Pi Network, okay, and it, it fits very well with uh, our approach on uh, uh, on business development and on making profit. Okay, is the idea of the togetherness. Is the idea of knowing that we as human beings, we are interdependent. The origin of our Kobe business model again. So I like the last option that I see in the application, which they plan already, you know, allowing you to actually preview people who are still unverified. Because if there are people from your circle, of trust. If there are people from your uh, your security circle, it makes sense to reach out of, uh, to reach out to them and help them. I know many of you are joining even uh, my own uh, my own circle of um, trust 
uh, by the video you're watching and all that. And I can see some of you not even ready by verif by uh, getting their, uh, their phone number verified. So I will know then how I can actually bring more help for those people. That's what a community is about. So I want you just to share this key element, okay? Many changes may come, but we'll still keep you updated. But those are the key elements already in preparation if you didn't understand the whole process. And to all of us, I wish uh, perseverance, I wish patience, because if you notice, we're getting to all the milestones. So thank you for staying tuned. Thank you if you didn't do it yet, okay? Share the video, okay? Uh, if you didn't do that yet, subscribe and let's keep building these principles through all these projects. That is being, giving us confirmation on this old adage. When you don't know where you're going, look back from where you came from. All is in our humanity. And I'll see you in the next video.